Damn it! I'm sealed in. Make your way to the top of the carrier. You should be able to procure a boat from the upper deck. While you're in the carrier, see if you can spot any sign of Val. We need to know where they're taking her. Welcome back. This is Hampooge, and we are playing Far Cry on realistic difficulty. Otherwise known as Go Fuck Yourself. So we are starting out in level 2, the carrier. Uh, I do a little tutorial here showing you guys just how stupid the floating is. This is not touching any buttons. It is sink down, and then you float back up. You are just filled with air. Jack, what is wrong with you? You are so buoyant. Anyways, this game, yeah, this game is a stealth game. Yep. Crow's gonna have our ass if we can't find that guy. I don't get it. There must be a couple of dozen gas between where they blew up that boat and here. How did he get all the way over here? I don't know. But unless we want to be cleaning latrines for the rest of the year, we'd better find him. And quick. There's some hitman shit coming up. Did you see that? something? What? Uh. Whatever. Never mind. I think it was not just jumpy. Okay. You see something? Email phone. Oh Please boy. Report to the there he is! Yep. So, this is the first example of the game just bending you over and you just, you just taking it. You, you gotta take it. This game shows no mercy. It's the carrier, level two. It's um, no longer the dumb tutorial. And it's pretty much one of the hardest sections of the game. I'm gonna probably be saying that a lot throughout this game. Because on realistic, every section is one of the hardest. Crow's gonna have our ass if we can't find that guy. I don't get it. There must be a couple of But they just see you through the walls. They just know you're there. I don't know how, but that's the AI in this game for you. So anyways, the story for this game, uh, we are here because we are an ex CIA whatever, and we were on a sailboat in the tropics, uh, and our boat caught exploded by a rocket launcher from mercenaries on this island. They just shot a rocket at us, and we somehow survived. When we woke up, we were in that uh, World War II Japanese bunker, or Korean bunker, whatever it is. And that's where we start off. Uh, we are looking for Val, I think that's her name? I forgot, but I'm pretty sure it's Val or Valerie or something. Anyways, she was with us on the boat, and uh, we are assuming that the mercenaries have her. I believe Crow mentioned it. I, I can't even remember how good a shit is. The story in this game is just absurd. I purposely skipped the intro cutscene to the game. <clears throat> Sorry, to the game, because it contains crazy ass spoilers. I don't know why the fuck they would do that. I mean, the twist in this game, it has a twist. It is really weird, and it threw me off the very first time I played this game. It, it just, it does a 180. This game is crazy. So anyways, we're Jack, we're an ex-CIA, we're looking for Val, killing millions of mercenaries on the way. And as far as we know, there's a Dr. Krieger, uh, there's Doyle, and there's Crow. Who is the fun, lovable robot? No, he's he's a juice monkey mercenary who will kill your face and stab your mother. So we're just going through this very tight hallway. Oh god, my health just drops like a rock. Yeah, this is this is a good example of. Just realistic difficulty. Did you see something? And get used to hearing that a lot. Also, if you listen to the background very carefully, not the announcer. Bongos. Can you hear it? Twenty four seven bongos. All bongos, all the time. Suck it down. Best radio station. It's like a two second loop, if that. Bongos. Freeze! I'm gonna drop 
your ass. There's a lot of mechanics that I kind of breathed through in the first video. There's quite a lot more to this game that I didn't mention. Every gun, well not every gun, a lot of the guns have an alt fire. Uh, the assault rifle you want a piece of me? has a uh, fully, fully automatic or semi-automatic. It's kind of handy. Uh, some of the other guns later on, that's pretty much it. They have semi-automatic, fully automatic, or a couple of them have a grenade launcher attached to it. That's about it. Uh, there are three different grenades, frag grenades, smoke grenades, which are completely broken in this game and stupid, in a bad way, and flashbangs. Uh, flashbangs are okay, frag grenades, pretty good, uh, smoke grenades, smoke grenades are weird, the very first time you use a smoke grenade in your game, if you just load up the game and use a smoke grenade, it will probably lag your game, it will just freeze up, it happens to everybody, I don't know why. And this guy just knew where we were, just fucking looking at us through the door as he walks through it. Yep, get used to that. So anyways, smoke grenades, they just freeze your game up. So does shooting the first person every time I load up the game. You saw that in the very first video, with the very first guy I killed. And the first guy I killed in this one too. I don't know what it is, but it, it's something to do with the game. It just uses up a bunch of your ammo at once. Like the very first guy I killed in this video. I had four shots with my rifle, and all four of them just went into his head, and it just like lagged the game for a second. Whatever, I think it was nothing. These little sections, these vents, they're pretty annoying because you have to go prone, and when you're prone, you're super slow. Uh, this one's not too bad because it's so short, but I will probably be cutting out some of the longer ones. And this is a good example of how the game has a lot of different paths to get around, even indoors. So that was that was pretty much the main selling point of this game. It is a big open world sort of first person shooter with a ton of different paths. A lot of ways to just go anywhere you want within a restricted level, of course. And here we go, one of my favorite guns in the game. It's basically the P90 from every other game. It is amazing. Yeah, look at that. Super rapid fire. It is also, like everything else, since it's all hits can, that one pixel is basically dead accurate. And this vent, when I shoot it, makes a really weird noise. I don't know what's up. It's coming up right here. What the hell was that? Since I'm prone, my vertical look axis is weird. I can't look down any farther than this, and I'm trying to shoot him, but I can't. Camera kind of freaks out here. So I've played this game enough, and I've played it on Realistic just a couple months ago, uh, enough that I know pretty much what's going to come everywhere. Well, relatively. So I'm keeping an eye on that other room because I know what's over there. Yep. Monster closet. Hooray! Luckily the game's pretty good about that. It doesn't usually spawn guys behind you. Listen up, Jack. I'm doing my best to track both you and the hostiles, but all the metal is interfering with your signal. You're pretty much on your own right now. That doesn't make too much sense, since you can clearly communicate with us just fine, but okay. So that's what this game is like on Realistic. It's pretty much... Oops, wrong kind of grenade. Here we go. Fuck me. I forgot which one I had equipped. Surprisingly, it didn't kill me. I guess I stunned one of them, too. Anyways, this game, this is pretty much how it plays on Realistic. It is just, a, it's basically a slow dungeon crawl throughout the entire game. Which I really, I like. I know it's bad of me to say that, but I like this game on hard, on the hardest difficulty. It's just fun to me. 
That's team. It's not an instant kill, I believe, but it is. It might as well be. It just destroys your health so fast. You could take the vent beside the steam, or you can go up here. So, more examples of branching paths. And up here is armor, which is surprisingly almost useless on realistic, because you can get headshotted. Headshot? Headshotted. You can get shot in the head. You can die almost instantly, just like the enemies. And you'll see that later in the video. Not unless she was cleverly disguised as a mercenary intent on killing me. God, Jack. I just love you. You're such an asshole, and you're so stupid. Plus, that line was great. No! He's such a bro. He's got the Hawaiian shirt. He's got a tribal tattoo. Shark tooth necklace. This fucking table. Got a physics it. Yeah, look at that. Grab that table, Jack. Uh, yeah. Show the table his boss. I'm reloading because I know there's a save point right out here. And if you reload before a save point, it saves you a lot of trouble. Otherwise, you have to reload every time you die. And you will die here. A lot. This section here is one of the hardest in the game, I would say. Unrealistic, at least, because it's just silly. I know, I know how many guys there are here. I believe there's four on the ground, and some? then there's a shitload up top. Because I've played this so many times, I know I know where they all are, but it's they still kill you. It doesn't help. Right. Flush him out. I just noticed that grenade decal just disappear real quick. Kind of weird. So if you're a first time playing this little section, you will just run ahead and you will get shot in the head. You will get shot from behind by this asshole right above me. And I'm, I'm being careful here because I know there's a guy ahead of me behind those pillars on the end of the deck, and then there's a guy over here, right above me too. I'm just not sure which one can hit me first. Well, it turns out it's the other guy. I can't even see him yet. Still not. Oh, just about... Just about... Oh, there he is. And you can see those bullets just whiz by you. That's why I never thought this game was a hitscan game with the bullets. I thought they were actually, like, physical bullets going through the air, but no. It's really obvious once you know it's hitscan. And it kind of changes the way you play it. Because if you get a headshot, it is really obvious to tell it's just a hitscan game. And that's that's pretty much how you have to play it in, in realistic difficulty. You have to get headshots. That is basically the only way to kill people. You'll see at the very end of this video, there's a guy that I shoot. I shoot him like eight times, I think. And he finally goes down. But since the enemies wear armor, it affects them too. But headshots... Headshots don't. And you'll see a headshot here in just a second. Look at my health. Check this out. This is glorious. Yep. I love it. And here's the guy I keep shooting a shitload. See how much health they have. Oi. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time when maybe I finish this fucking level. Eventually.